Prioritization is one of the biggest challenges of most product teams. That's why AirFocus offers different tools to help you make strategic and data-informed decisions on what to build or do next. One way to get started with the right prioritization framework is to use one of our predefined templates. You can select from a variety of templates that are based on proven prioritization methodologies such as the value versus effort framework or the rice scoring. Let's dive into the details in our Voom demo workspace. Within your workspace, you can use the Priority Ratings app to customize your own unique prioritization framework with custom factors and custom criteria. Once you add ratings for your items, a final priority score is calculated. The score gives you orientation to make informed product decisions. It indicates the potential impact of an item compared to other items. Once rated, the item is then also placed on a value versus effort priority chart so you can understand how it ranks against all other items in your backlog, including your quick wins and potential time wasters. With this bird's eye perspective, you're equipped to make better decisions as a team. Let's now move on to customizing your prioritization framework. You can do all of that by accessing the Priority Ratings app from the Apps section. In the Apps settings, you can define your prioritization factors X, Y, and R and their criteria. In this example, the X factor is all about effort while the Y factor consists of value criteria. Both affect the position of the item in the chart. The R factor is all about revenue and it affects the size of the item bubble. Each factor can consist of one or many criteria. These criteria are based on custom fields which can be managed from your workspace settings. You can easily add more custom fields as criteria to any factor. You also get to decide how each factor and criteria affect the score calculation. By default, the priority scores are calculated using a weighted scoring algorithm. For more control on the scores, advanced users can opt to use a custom formula instead. That's it. You've now standardized a repeatable approach to prioritization, which will help you make better product decisions and create priority-driven and outcome-based roadmaps. It's often a great idea to involve other stakeholders in the prioritization process. This is when our Priority Poker app comes in handy, which we will cover in another video. That's it for now. Happy prioritization!